Welcome to your weekly messages from your angels and your higher self with me, Julie Poole. And if this is your first time here, welcome. If you like what you see, please subscribe, click the little bell so you don't miss anything. All the cards that I use are listed in the description below. And we start with messages from your higher self, which I use the tarot cards for. And then I go on to messages from your angels. So stay tuned right to the end so you don't miss a thing. Now let's dive right in. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your messages for the 26th of March. So this final week of March as we move into April, well my goodness me guys, you have got three major arcana cards out of three. <laughs> There's a lot of power going on for you this week. Now the main energy that is coming through from your angels is light. We are bringing in a lot more light, shining the light, shedding the light, all right? Really bringing the light down to focus, um, like a spotlight on the areas of your life um, that need looking at. Now, all three of these major arcana cards are the right way round, okay? And we have got such, such strong power. So we've got the moon. Let's talk about the moon, first of all, with the star and with the world, not much going on for you guys then. <laughs> wow. All right, let's start with the moon. So this week of the 26th, we've got another big full moon, massive full moon energy coming in. And what are moons about? So the full moon is an energy that brings up to the surface everything that's going on underneath that we're not normally noticing. All right. So it's bringing it up so that we can examine it, so that we can look at it. And again, your angel cards are saying the light, bringing everything into the light, letting the light shine on things. Okay. As it comes out of the darkness into the light, it brings our awareness up. We can't change anything we're not aware of. So that awareness in the light is the most important thing. So the moon is bringing up What's going on inside you emotionally, your thoughts and your feelings, everything that is going on inside that we don't normally have time to look at or we're just not aware of. So this full moon, I want you to really pay attention to, Sag, because it is really shedding a light on stuff for you, shining a light on stuff inside that wants to come up. And why does it want to do this? Because you are the star this week. All right, don't know why, don't know what's going on for you guys, but your higher self is saying, do you have any idea how strong your light is and how you should be shining like that star that you are? And that moon is going to help you look at what part of you isn't shining so that you can polish your shine, okay? Because <laughs> we want you to be shining. Because we want to be having the world to open up for us. Sagittarius, you are adventurous spirits, okay? You are free spirits. You need to know the world is your oyster and you can be part of that world and that you are... Mm, I'm feeling for many of you wanting to reach out to the world and participate much more, much more actively. So we can do that when we let our light shine, when we are the star that we're meant to be, not hiding our light behind the bushel. Okay, let your light shine. Don't worry about coming across as conceited or arrogant. You're not. You're neither of those things. There's nothing wrong with letting your light shine. And what it does is it shines the light on other people too. And you are the shining example. So everything this week for you guys is about the light, shining the light, being the star and opening up that world. Sorry, I'm getting a bit croaky now. I've done loads of readings today because I'm away next week. So I am trying to get everything done before I go. Okay, guys, let me know how this plays out for you. Very powerful week, Sagittarius. Very exciting. And I'll see you next week for more messages from your angels and your higher self. Take care, guys. Bye.